Batman is one of the most famous superheroes there is in the world. And one of the key features of his character is that he has no superpowers. Oh, I have one, Johnny. I never give up. Well, apart from his indomitable willpower and the fact that he's a billionaire. But physically, he has no superpowers at all. He's just a normal human being who has the strength and reflexes of someone who regularly engages in exercise. And this lack of power is one of the things that makes Batman so compelling, as he has to come up with inventive ways to take down all these supervillains who have superpowers. But even though Batman having no special abilities is a key part of his character, he has, over the years, developed superpowers here and there. And this is a list of five times that Batman got superpowers. Super Batman. Who would win the fight between Batman and Superman? A question that's been in the comics for decades. But what if Batman had Superman's powers? All that training and fighting ability with that unstoppable power would make Batman, well, unstoppable. And that's just the problem in issue 53 of the Superman Batman comic series. A magical totem takes Superman's powers away and bestows them to Batman. And at first, things are great. Superman teaches Batman how to use his powers, and Batman is able to use those powers to beat criminals like never before. But that's the problem. What starts out well soon turns bad, as Batman becomes harsher and harsher with his beatdowns, in some cases practically beating criminals near to death for little to no reason. And he even beats up Catwoman and Dick Grayson when he really doesn't need to. And it becomes apparent that the transfer of powers has affected Batman's mind, and it's only getting worse. Eventually it gets so bad that the other members of the Justice League have to step in. But since this is Super Batman, they can't stop him. He's too powerful and too well trained. He knows all of their weaknesses and all of their limitations. But thankfully, Superman is able to get hold of the totem that took his powers away in the first place. And he then gets close enough to Batman that the totem drains Batman of his abilities and then gives them back to Superman. A similar story to this happened in Batman the Brave and the Bold. Well, I say similar. Basically, Batman has the same powers as Superman in the episode. He goes to an alien planet and is exposed to an element in the atmosphere called Rodon that gives him the same powers as Superman. With Rodon in the atmosphere, someone from Earth would have incredible power on Zeradar. Also a great weakness. It's kind of a parallel to the normal Superman story, as Batman is an alien from another world who gets godlike power because of the planet's conditions being different to his home planet, just like Superman and Earth's Yellow Sun. What's your story? Just a friend visiting from out of town, miss. Sadly, the bad guy is able to figure this out and comes up with a cure that stops the Rodon from affecting Batman and Batman loses his superpowers. Whoa. Weak as a kitten. It's actually quite a good episode, especially if you're a fan of the Timverse, as it takes heavily from Batman the Animated Series and Superman the Animated Series, going so far as to have the same voice actors in the show. He's incredible. Hit a stabilizer coil. Lucky shot. Vampire Batman. In Elseworld stories, and of course in the film Batman vs Dracula, and even in the TV series Batman the Brave and the Bold, Batman finds himself bitten by a Nosferatu and is infected with vampire venom and becomes one of the unholy bloodsuckers of the night. Aquaman! Of course, when this usually happens, he doesn't actually become a full vampire, often stopping himself from feeding on human blood and then being able to find a cure for this affliction. But it is one superpower that happens quite a lot, probably because Batman being a vampire is just absolutely perfect for his character, especially when he's fighting Dracula, because who doesn't want to see Batman fighting Dracula? As a vampire, Batman has super speed, strength and durability. The only downside, of course, is that he can't go out during the day. But since Batman rarely ever goes out during the day anyway, it's not really that big a problem. And of course, the other problem is that he needs to drain people of their blood to stay alive. Hence why he finds a cure for his vampirism in most cases. But being a vampire definitely counts as having a superpower. I'm the Batman. And you're dust. Super Strength Super Strength is one of the oldest and most basic of superpowers, as it gives a person the edge to beat up pretty much anyone in a fight. And Batman decides to get that edge in taking down the bad guys, because he decides that being a normal guy is just not enough to take down Gotham's villains. 
So when he decides that working out normally is not making him strong enough, he does what anyone else would do. He shoots himself full of steroids. The responsible thing to do, I'm sure you'll agree. You'll leave me no choice, Mr. Wayne. Batman is able to get hold of a drug that supposedly will make a person super strong, and it does just that, giving him super strength and makes him able to take down criminals like never before. However, like most drugs, he becomes dependent on it as he has to keep taking it, and he gets withdrawal and crazy mood swings from it. It's all making him lose control and being unnecessarily violent, and so he comes off the drug cold turkey and spends some time alone in the Batcave recovering from withdrawal. It's later revealed that the drug he was using was actually an early version of Venom, and after this the drug then gets into the hands of Bane, who uses this power to become super strong and to break Batman's spine. And this isn't the only time Batman has had super strength. In the Injustice video game series, he uses pills to enhance his strength. It's a durability enhancer. 5U93R. How can a pill allow- Kryptonian nanotech. Increases the tensile strength of bone and tissue by several thousand percent. The pills make a person super strong and super tough, strong enough to fight Superman, though not stronger than Superman. And it seems to be permanent, at least in the video game. Though in the comic book tie-in series to the video game, the pills have to be taken regularly as they only work for a short period of time and then they wear off. So maybe he does take more of the pills in the video game, but we never really see it. The Man Bat Mutation after the tragic death of his son, Damian Wayne, Batman went after his murderer to get revenge. His opponent was of course Heretic, a clone of Damian Wayne who was genetically engineered to adulthood and to be stronger than Damian Wayne would be in peak physical condition. Basically, the Heretic was stronger than Batman, and the Heretic was also either just as skilled as Batman is, or even more skilled than Batman is. It's not made that clear. So, in order to give himself an edge so that he can take down Heretic, Batman injects himself with the Man-Bat Serum to give him enhanced senses and strength. Like pretty much every time Batman gets superpowers, this was of course only a temporary thing, and he was later given an anti-serum to turn him back into a normal human. But thanks to the Man-Bat powers, and the fact that he was wearing an exoskeleton to increase his strength, he was able to take down Heretic and get justice for his son's murder. The Amazovirus In the Justice League comic book series, Lex Luthor is at one point joining the Justice League, now, it sounds crazy since he's a supervillain, and it kind of is crazy, but it's actually a pretty good comic book story arc. And one of the conditions of Lex Luthor joining the team is that he shows them all his secrets, and while he and Bruce Wayne are going through his secret lab, they are attacked. An assassin is there to kill Lex Luthor, and during the fight, a virus is accidentally released, and it ends up infecting the whole city of Metropolis. It's called the Amazovirus, and if you have superpowers, it takes them away from you, and then it kills you. Most of the League are infected while saving civilians and are very near to death. Wonder Woman is of course a god, so the virus can't affect her, and Superman is Kryptonian, so it doesn't affect him either. Batman has a suit, called the Hazbat suit, to keep him safe from infection, but it of course breaks and he is infected. And while superpowered people lose their powers when infected, normal people gain superpowers. This is why they're actually having so much trouble getting people out of the city, because they're all enjoying having superpowers. And the virus gives Batman some sort of sonic powers. He is actually blind in this state, but he is generating sound waves, and so he can see using sound waves and echolocation, just like a bat does. He can also focus these sonic waves into a weapon, and attack people with powerful sound beams. I must say though, it's kind of odd that he goes blind. It's obviously so he can be more like a bat, as bats are blind. But the thing is, that's actually a myth. In reality, bats are not blind at all. In fact, most bats actually have pretty good vision. So it just seems that the writers didn't realise that when they were making his powers. But anyway, soon after this, it's revealed that the Kryptonians can be affected by the virus, and Lex Luthor actually exposed Superman to the virus four years ago. And he was infected, and apparently Lex Luthor actually designed it to take away Kryptonians' powers. But Superman's body developed antibodies against it, and using these antibodies, Lex Luthor is able to create a cure to the virus and save everyone's lives. Which would be commendable if not for the fact that he created the virus to begin with. And that is the time that Batman got Sonic powers. There is also the time that Batman became the God of Knowledge. 
but I don't actually count this as a superpower. Although this Batman knows everything in the universe and doesn't need to eat or sleep and he can travel anywhere in the universe and indeed anywhere in time, despite all this, it's technically the chair, not Batman, who has the superpower. Basically, Batman has no power, he's just using a super chair, which is the same as him driving the Batmobile. Yes, the super chair is a hell of a lot more advanced, but my point is that he doesn't actually have any powers, he's just using a super powered gadget like he always does. So, in my opinion, this doesn't really count as a superpower. And that is five times that Batman got five different superpowers. Personally, out of all these stories, I think my favourite is the Amazo Virus one. It's a really good story and would make a great movie, or better yet, video game. And hopefully one day it will get adapted into something like this. But out of the superpowers, I think the best one is the Injustice Super Pills. Because it's not that unbelievable a way to get superpowers, and it doesn't so much as give man a superpower, as it gives him the chance to fight the really powerful supervillains on equal footing. Basically, Batman can't overpower the supervillains, he still needs his fighting skills to win, but it gives him the strength to fight gods and monsters, while not making him too powerful at the same time. I mean, in reality, if Superman and Batman actually fought, Superman could put his fist through Batman's skull before he could even blink. So, it's important for him to have a stronger skull and stronger muscles if you're going to have the two of them fight. And I think that's the reason that the Injustice pills work so well with Batman. Yes, he is great with no powers, but if you want a hand-to-hand -hand fight with Superman, Wonder Woman or Black Adam, well, he needs some power, or he just die in seconds. And this power not only makes the fights you have in the game believable, but it makes them compelling, as Batman is still very much outclassed in terms of power, and he still needs every part of his mind and skill to beat them. But which one of these is your favourite story? And which is your favourite superpower for Batman to have? Or do you want Batman to have a different superpower altogether? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.